team number one on a three boxer. Good luck, guys. I've never ripped this, so bear with me. Four times. One, two, three, four, and final. Jamesy on the bottom, Mendy up top. Four times. Braves on the bottom, Guardians up top. Jamesy and Mendy. Good luck. I have never ripped this product. I'm a little nervous. I ain't going to lie. I'm probably going to mess this up pretty hardcore. That's, that's my guess. There it is. There it is. There's all your teams, folks, on the random. Good luck. I'm probably not going to line another one of these for tonight, guys, at least. Oh, this is my HTA case. What am I doing? Make sure you're live, Corey. I, I too can can be like that. Trust me, I'm a I'm a bone I, I I'm a, I'm a bone edge. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I actually don't even know what the case. Hey yo. 50th anniversary of David Clyde for the Rangers. Wow. I mean, look at the edges on that bad boy. I assume I top load that. I'm just assuming I will. All right, let's try some heritage. My baseball diversity is finally um, expanding. All right, I'll go back by back here. I'll probably I'll probably screw something up here. Here we go. That's this. That's cool. Cool Calhoun, wasn't he an angel back in the day? We have a Tucker on our refractor. I'm assuming I case this. I don't even know what to case on this, guys. If it's one per, uh, if it's one per pack, oh boy, I'm in trouble. Sure enough, as soon as I said that. Wheeler. As soon as I said that, of course. All the backwards ones are short prints. Fuck me. What was the backwards ones? Cole Calhoun and Brad Hand? Right above the number if it's a variation. Okay, perfect. Okay, so those are just base then, correct? Yeah, I figured I was going to say that left, right, random. I think these were the two, right? Make sure there's no variations. Okay, but these two are not short prints, correct? Oh, wait, wait, 62? 62 is a sh is a short print. Okay. How do I tell that it's a short print? Just curious. Again, this is my first time, so uh All right. Well, you're getting a case anyway. 
What's up, Darby? Going good. Just don't watch the four box. No, we, Josh, we added line. We added line here. Okay, okay. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks for telling me. Okay, that, that's a cheat code. Thank you. I didn't rip any of this. Josh, we lined this in the chat from earlier today. I'm probably not going to line another one because a lot of these cheaper ones we normally reserve for like the day sessions like that. But I mean, obviously, if you guys want to line some cheap Bowman drafts and stuff, that I can absolutely help you with. No problem. So who gets these ones? And there's Bobby Witt. Maldonado is a short print. Devers. All right, now, now, now I don't want to. Now I don't want to top load all of these ones. Not Cole Calhoun. Kevin, okay, per all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. See, this is good. I'm glad you guys are telling. I've never ripped this year's heritage, nonetheless, any other heritage. It's good that you guys are telling me these things now. Thank you for catching. All right, anything else I got to know before I keep going? That's why I'm going pack by pack here. I've actually never ripped heritage ever. I thought it was common because it was coming out on the last card, everyone. Memorabilia, uh, Polar Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Luciano and Dansby Swanson. Uh, okay, I think I'm good now. All right, all right, all right. Now, now we can start flowing then. All right, perfect. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Soto, that looks different. Oh, that's an insert. Josh Lowe. All right, now just a quick question. Have we been top loading all the purples? Should I top load all the purples or is it a waste? John Charles Gray on the short print. Ooh, that's a nice Dominguez. Hello. For the Yankees. Gucci. Purples can be numbered to, wow, okay, I did not know that. All right, awesome. An attendee on the white, that's beautiful. And Jose Tena. Yeah, I was going to say the Ben Attendee looks interesting. Whites are top loads. Perfect. All right. Perfect. What about all the purples? Would you guys say for me to top load all the purples or just the notable names on the purple? Yeah, no, no, no. It, it is hard for me, so it's good that you guys tell me these things so I know. I don't want to mess up anybody. I'll take my time on this. No problem. Detmers. The whiteboard will say on the back. Oh, I see. Okay, whiteboard. I got it. Okay, I got it. Got it. Got it.
Luciano for the Giants. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Gavin Williams for the Guardians. No, it's good. I'm, I'm actually glad you guys are just telling me now. That's why I'm telling you guys I've never ripped this. So, obviously, I knew it was a longer rip. And if it's like Platinum Anniversary, you guys are going to kind of have to teach me a little bit so I don't mess up. Or the chances of me messing up is uh, minimal. Acuna. See, that's what, I, okay, that's what I hate. I hate when people tell me that. I, I hate that. It's like Platinum Anniversary all over again with like random variations and stuff that like, I don't know. So I'll just, I'll just go at a moderate pace. Another Dominguez. Second to the last card, all right. Confrodo on the white. Second to the last card is Rosario. Okay. Jose Tena. Oh, third to the oh, third to the last. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. I was gonna say I was like second or third. All right. So I guess that gives me a little bit more confidence now. Detmers again. Glossy on... Okay, I got it. Or I think I got it. Machado. I don't know what's special about that. Something special there? Abrams. I will put the second to the last card in at least a sleeve pile for us. <laughs> Corbin. Varro. If I have questions, I'd rather just sleeve it and not get, you know, not upset anybody on a $12 break. Uribe. Oh, that's cool. Mike Nelson Trout. <laughs> and J-Rod. Damn, I got a lot of top loading to do for $12. That looks like a high number. I'll just throw that there. And Arias. If this break takes me, you know, 15 minutes longer than uh, than normal. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. That's a sick flashbacks. I like that a lot. That still goes to the Reds. That is the big red machine. That's cool as hell. The Reds won their 95th game on September 7th. That's cool. McLean. It will say it. Got it.
Okay, so short print, low number of Blade. Okay, didn't see nothing there. Jay Walker. And solder storm. Oh, this this is yeah, this is tough. Alright, that was box one. Alright. Alright, good the good news is is everything ships, so that's the good news. Good news is it will all ship. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, because some of these are like lighter shade. This is like darker shade. It's 409, a high number. 453, a high number. Maybe, maybe 400 isn't a high number. Okay, unless it's glossy. All right, so let me just. It's giving me flashbacks to. Uh... Got it. Okay, cool. Thank you, Matt. This is giving me some Allen and Ginner vibes almost. All right, and since this is a hot box, let me just, I'm gonna top load these. I probably really don't have to, a majority of them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Obviously all the big rookies, Evan Carter them, Dominguez, Ellie them, they'll all get top loaded. Cause I just don't know. Got it, right, 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 okay. Yeah, this is, okay, got it, yes, 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 okay, 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 got you, 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 got you. All right, this is gonna eat up my top loaders, right? Oh shit! Almost putting that in the wrong size top loader. That could have been disastrous too. All right. I could him, man, because we were doing these by the half boxers, but I wasn't on this channel during the time when uh, when we were doing them. That's why I didn't see this year's neither, but I could imagine doing the half casers, trust me. Technically, this is a quarter case breaks.
All right, let's try again. Box two. Let's be a little bit more efficient. A's do it again. You know, if I ever miss something for you guys, it's okay if you tell me. I prefer you private message me than blasting me on in front of the whole chat. But, you know, if I ever miss something, please tell me, guys. You know, I, I, I don't want to miss. I never intentionally miss. 98 Hicks. It's never intentional. Tucker on the white. There's a junior. Duran. Ellie. Okay, this is easier of it not being a hot box. Telez, Jackson Wolf. I almost thought that said Oswald Peraza. I literally thought that's what it said. The 375, it's Devers. What's up, MGH? Oh, that's a Gilof auto. That's what you meant. For the Athletics, Troy. 39 to 75 on the auto. Pretty awesome. 
Matthew says that's big. Okay, I like hearing that. That's great. I'm downplaying it like it was just a regular auto right on. Let's go, Tonma. I said. Stevenson on the white border. That's cool as hell. Senga for the Mets. I don't see anything different on that. Which on a singer? I have no clue. Hold on. Ah, uh, no, there's an auto. It's very hard to tell. It's coming through his jersey. <laughs> Late. Kramer. Got it. No clue on that one. Gary Sanchez. I guess that's part of the card. Hunter Goodman, I have no clue. I will come back to that. AL Champs. You're probably right. <laughs> All right, one box left. This break is taking me mighty long. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm just like, damn, like I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, holy shit. That's what happens when I, uh, <laughs> when I don't know the product very well.
And the last box. Well, I mean, I don't mind doing more of it, to be honest with you. It's just, uh, I'm trying, like, even, like, the blasters last night, I was trying to save them for Hobby Hawk. That's the only reason this was still on the, uh, this was still on the screen was because we didn't get it off earlier when 10 spots came off. I don't mind doing them, to be honest. Like, I really don't. But I got the two box, I mean, the thing is, is I got the two box Bowman mixer that's very close. I got the jumbo full case and the jumbo random team full case that's very close. HTA is over halfway full. Bowman Hobby is over halfway full. So I want to make sure I get those off first. <clears throat> no, I, I, Darb, trust me. I don't care how long it takes. If I cared about my speed, I wouldn't be like flipping the cards and looking at the back of them. But I don't, I mean, I don't want to do that to you guys. Cole Calhoun, that one's green. You guys hang out with me. The, the, the least I can do is be accurate <laughs> on a break that I'm unfamiliar with. That's the least I can do. I, I, I honestly have no clue. Or at least as accurate as possible. Nobody's going to get mad at me for trying. Maldonado. Just be glad it isn't blasters. Ten four. I'm I'm glad. I'm very happy. Yeah, that'd be a nightmare for me. Dick Williams. For the California, California Angels. What's the difference between the queso chips and in the, the cheddar with the cheddar? It's funny because Mrs. Hamma bought one for me like months ago and I only recently ate the Ruffles queso. And I'm like, shit, it tastes exactly like the cheddar ones. Now we all know. We we all know. Let's let's all be honest. We're talking about potato chips now. We all know the best potato chips out there is the Fritos Twisted Barbecues that released about 20 years ago. We all know that's like the GOAT. Actually, it's probably a little bit over 25 years ago, I would guess. To $9.99, it is Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton for the Angels. We all know the best potato chips out there. We, we, we all know the best potato chip out there. It's not even, it's not front. It's the Twisted Barbecue Chips. I maybe eat it once every, uh, once every few years is maybe when I have them. But oh man. Dominguez. Tavares. Oh, you know what? Actually, Matthew, that would be a that would be like a third or a fourth place chip right there. The sweet Maui onions, or even the regular Maui onions. That's a nice showtime. Oh, it's like intentionally off centered. Yo, 
Yeah, you know what? Weren't we talking about ketchup chips? Darb, wasn't it you? Really, Matthew? Uh, what uh, what state are you in, Matthew? Or, uh, yeah, state and city, maybe? Now that you said that, I don't even know if I can find any. Oh, in Virginia. Oh. Which uh, which sweet Maui onions were you buying? Were you buying the purple bagged ones or the ones that was actually branded sweet Maui onion? Cause they had the they had the purple bag ones, which is kind of like the Kerry Carpenter. To me, that's like the generic. Okay, all right, you gotta okay, Matthew. Let me go find you the other. If you like the purple ones. Stand by. Let me show you the. Let me show you the real deal ones. I got you. It's like that light purple one, right? Yeah. Somebody was talking to me about that. It's kind of funny. Did I? In the, the chair. Oh. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah, somebody was telling me it was Canadian. Like, Canadian maple syrup is badass. And I don't really eat pancakes or waffles or anything like that. But I use, I mean, if I use maple, I'll use it for, like, you know, like, when I make, like, spicy Korean pork and stuff, I'll use, like, maple syrup for, like, some sweetener and stuff. Woo! That Canadian stuff is no joke. For my Canadian brothers out there. Somebody was telling me about ketchup chips. Mrs. Amma would probably like ketchup chips. She loves her ketchup. She loves ketchup. Poutine is okay. Maybe I just didn't have like the legit poutine. Josiah Gray. We didn't have an auto or anything, did we? How about an auto coming up? Uh, Riley Green for the Tigers as a memorabilia instead of an auto. Boo. I had the weirdest thing happen to me on my Amazon account. I'll tell you about it right after this. It actually happened yesterday. That box was not exciting. All right, stand by for the recap, guys. At least we got the hot box. At least I got the hot box. I'm happy with the hot box. Yeah, so yesterday, I woke up, and my Amazon account, it had like, um, and any any techie guy or Amazon guy out there, I mean, hear this story. Like, honestly, it was the weirdest thing. I woke up, and, it, and you know, I got the notifications. Oh, hey, we got this return from you. We got this return from you. We got that return from you. So I was like, oh, okay, Mrs. Ham is probably returning stuff. You know, so you get a notification on your app, right, that you return stuff. About an hour later, I got an email from Amazon saying that, oh, I ordered an air fryer. And it was a legit email. It was the actual Amazon. It wasn't no spam or anything like that. So I was like, okay. I was like, we would never have ordered an air fryer because I have two. So uh, I don't think so. I didn't see a number. Oh, yeah, 70 of 99. You're right, James. 70 of 99, hand numbered. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so I woke up and it said that someone in California ordered an air fryer. Her name was Virginia. So I started freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck? So I canceled the order and I started calling Amazon. As I'm calling Amazon, I'm looking at my account now, my actual Amazon account. I'm on the app and everything like that. 
and I seen like some of my backpacks for snowboarding and stuff actually got uh, returned. So I was like, that's not right because I still have the backpacks. So I was like, how the fuck did I get returned for? I got returned for like one of my backpacks, a couple of wedding items that Mrs. Hammer ordered. And it was all on an Amazon gift card. So then my account randomly got like $250 on an Amazon gift card. So then they, whoever was doing that on my account, if it was getting hacked, they then used that gift card money to buy an air fryer. So they locked my account. And then, you know, they basically said, you got to reset your password and all that BS. Gilof and Devers. That is the break. They said they had to 